In this video we share Medjugorje visionary Miriana and the unfolding of the Ten Secrets. When Our Lady entrusted the seer Miriana with the last, tenth, secret, she gave her a mysterious object resembling parchment. It has a whitish color and unusual properties, it can be crumpled, rolled up, but it cannot be torn in any way. All ten Medjugorje secrets are written on it. Will what they predict come to pass in our time? It was Christmas 1982, a celebration of hope and special joy. There was a dramatic change in the life of the seer Mariana Dragasevic, then 17-year-old girl, the last regular visit to the Virgin Mary. Exactly a year and a half after her first wonderful meeting with the most beautiful woman she had ever seen, she had to face the painful truth that her Heavenly Mother would not come every day anymore. At that time, she was living in Sarajevo. Miriana was the first of six seers to experience this. Her sadness was ineffable. For a month she was depressed and inconsolable in crying. But on that day, during those 45 minutes of apparition, something extraordinary happened. The Mother of God entrusted the young seer with the last, tenth secret and gave her the object, which for 30 years has fired the imagination of experts in the Majubia phenomenon. Miriana says that Our Lady gave her this object because she gave her a special role in revealing secrets. What is it about? The mysterious object is not of earthly origin and it is not known what substance it is made of, but Miriana says that it does not even look like parchment. It has a whitish color and unusual properties, it can be crumpled, rolled up, but it cannot be torn in any way. It is indestructible, says Miriana with a smile, and discovers that it contains all ten secrets that Our Lady has entrusted her, from the first to the last, with a date and a description of what is about to happen. Meanwhile, the text of the secrets is visible only to her. No one else, even if he had the parchment in his hand, could read it. We asked Mariana several times to show us this unusual object, so that we could see it at least from a distance, but our request was not heard. She says that once, a long time ago, she showed it to her friend and relative at the same time, but after that, Our Lady advised her not to show it to anyone again. That was when I was still living in Sarajevo, Miriana recalls. They both saw the text of some prayer, but the prayers were different. They saw two different things at the same time, if it were not so, I would not be able to go anywhere without the parchment, I would have to hide it constantly, I would be trembling with the fear that the thieves would take it from me. A few years later, along with her personal belongings, it was brought to her by a soldier from a UN unit stationed in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Of course, he had no idea what he had in his hands. But when the time comes for the realization of the Medjugorje mysteries, the parchment text will also be visible to the Herzegovinian Franciscan Peter Lubisic, who has been entrusted with a special mission, he is to announce to mankind the content of each individual secret. Miriana chose him to be the revealer of the mystery a long time ago, back in 1982, when Our Lady asked her to entrust this task to some priest of her own choice. Father Peter, born in 1946, was surprised to hear that he had become an important link in the chain of events in Medjugorje. He couldn't believe that heaven was smiling at him. How did I deserve such a grace? He asked, surprised, then prayed and joyfully accepted the task entrusted to him. Today he has no choice anymore, says Miriana, he has accepted this mission and must fulfill it. Here is what Father Peter says about the disclosure of the first Medjugorje secret. It will happen in Medjugorje. Ten days before the events of the first secret, Miriana will notify me no matter where I am at that moment. Then I will go straight to Medjugorje, and perhaps Providence will want me to be there. After that, I will spend the whole seven days in prayer and fasting, so that I myself, too, filled with the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, will fully understand the meaning of the message and better penetrate into its mystery, and then, three days before the beginning of the announced events, I will reveal it to the world, describes Father Peter. Judging from his words, these events could cause confusion on the entire planet. Of course, he talked to Mariana about it and told him that Our Lady wanted as many people as possible to find out what was going to happen, because revealing the secret is important for all mankind. 
How he will introduce her to people, he does not know yet, but he is sure that the news will spread quickly, because the Virgin Mary will take care of it. This is when the moment comes, explains Father Peter, on the parchment, the content of the first secret will be visible to my eyes, and after seven days to the eyes of all other people, because it will no longer be a mystery. So it will be repeated until the world knows about all ten secrets and what they will bring. The story of the ten secrets is the greatest mystery of the Medjugorje phenomenon. It is so intriguing and unusual that many people cannot believe it, especially because it cannot be compared with any officially recognized Marian apparition. In Fatima, for example, the lady in white of the seer Lucia entrusted one secret divided into three parts, and in Lourdes there was no secret. In Medjugorje, as the seers say, there are as many as ten mysteries. Vitska, Ivan, and Maria, to whom Our Lady appears every day, are entrusted with nine secrets, and Majona, Yakov and Ivanka are entrusted with all ten secrets. What is their content, when they will begin to come true, whether they predict the terrible future of mankind, as some are inclined to believe, only the seers know. And these are still silent, because so commanded them by the Heavenly Mother. When the secrets were entrusted to them, they were still children, at an age when it was difficult for them to keep their silence. The youngest, Yakov was only ten years old, so the pressure of the curious was directed most at him, but without any success. Secrets have remained secrets to this day. However, Mariana says that you shouldn't be afraid, personally, I don't think God, as a father, can do anything wrong to me. Therefore, I would advise people not to burden themselves with it. It will be what God wants. Look at us seers, we also have families, we are joyful, we are happy every day. We are in God's hands. What does Father Peter, who has attended the apparitions several times, know about the secrets? He has testified to us that he has seen Mariana cry in ecstasy twice. He doesn't know if the secrets contain only sad events, but he suspects they are. The mother of God seeing Mariana, after stopping the regular apparitions, had been preparing and explaining to her throughout the year how the secrets should be revealed. She wanted me to participate in some of the apparitions, and I willingly agreed to it, says Father Peter. Mariana, who lived in Sarajevo at that time, came to Medjugorje on certain days, and I was with her during the apparitions. As long as she was talking to Our Lady, I noticed that she was sad and tears were flowing down her face. When I later asked why she was crying, she would reply, well, I am vulnerable and I can see the children suffer. She did not say more, because it was all about secrets. Father Peter knows that the first three secrets are related to Medjugorje. The first two will be a warning and a great warning, they will confirm to the world that Our Lady appeared in Medjugorje and that the seers spoke the truth. The third mystery will be an indestructible sign that many souls will convert from, and the remaining mysteries will most likely be shocking events that will shake the world and will be a call for many to convert and fear nothing. Most is known about the third secret. The seers say that there is talk of a great sign that, at a precise time, will suddenly appear at the site of Our Lady's first apparitions, on Mount Poddo, now called Apparition Hill. It will be visible, durable and indestructible. This is how Our Lady will fulfill her promise to the visionaries at the beginning of the apparitions that she will leave a clear proof of her presence in Medjugorje. The seers say, he leaves him in a special way for those who are still far from God. It will be a gift of Our Lady, in fact, that it would be known that she was with us, says Mariana. It will be seen that it cannot be done with a human hand, that it is something really from God. Judging from all this, most of the mysteries concern the future of mankind, except that the seers say that the seventh secret has been softened by prayers. Although there is no reliable information on this, it is supposed that the tenth secret is quite disturbing, terrible, but Mariana replies to such conjecture as follows. I don't know what would be terrible if someone believed in God. Of course, the question of when the mysteries will begin to unfold is inevitable. Will it be in our time? To Vic's direct question, she replied without hesitation, he will, for sure. Secrets will begin to unfold in our time. 
Mariana knows this better because the Mother of God has explained so much more. She gave me nine secrets, but only their order. Judging by the age of revealing the secret of Father Peter Lubisic, extraordinary events that will take place at a certain time and place will be attended by our many peers. Father Peter will be 76 on October 28, 2022. How old he will be when he will reveal the first Medjugorje secret, he also does not know and does not want to guess. We can guess, he says, that we are getting closer to it every day. It is interesting that Mariana chose him to reveal the secrets a long time ago, in 1982, and all this time he had no serious health problems. His life seemed to be protected at least until he fulfilled his mission. During these 29 years, has his life ever been in danger? Only once, Father Peter told us. I was driving to Budapest with my sister's husband, when a German drove into us in his car and we went out of the way. I was strapped in, my brother-in-law was not and he was wounded, he was covered in blood. The German broke his arm. Two months I had a bruise from my seat belt, is all this just a coincidence? However, is it possible to suspect that the time for the realization of Medjugorje mysteries is not so far away? Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.